We're going to be speaking to a gentleman who started a community project uh, not too long ago, uh, All in Fife, which aims to um, to uh, raise the awareness of community spirit throughout Fife, through photos and stories, uh, through the power of cycling. And of course, this will be all to be done into a collection for a book that's going to be expected to be published uh, in 2013, middle of 2013. Now, last week, uh, Kamil... Uh, Che Bayotowski uh, visited Windygates, Methil, Buckhaven and the cool town of Wemus and later this month he's going to be visiting uh, Abadawa, Donnybrussel, Hellend, Dalgate Bay along with many other places uh, next month as well uh, all the way through until Dunfermline and Town Hill and uh, he joins us on the line just now. So uh, Camel, thanks for coming on to Radio West 5. Did I pronounce your second name just uh, uh, Yes, that's right, yes. That was, that was brilliant. That was exactly what it's supposed to be hello hello Hi. so um now first of all uh, well first of all i think uh, that's well not a bad uh, start for a beginner in uh, polish for me so <laughs> <laughs> i need to we need to work on it but um but f but when it comes to all in fife um uh -huh. what what spurred the the idea of all in fife in the first place well i mean um to begin with i mean i am i am a cyclist and i actually did uh, quite a few miles uh earlier this year from from uh john O'Groats down to here so that's the cycling bit but mm -hmm. i'm also um a secondary school teacher and i'm very much in, in, interested in inclusive education and that side of things and uh, basically um having moved here uh about three years ago uh, i sort of started noticing sort of you know little groups sort of small places that do extraordinary work but they don't seem to be sort of recognized, sort of, you know, because it looks like it's a small kind of place mm -hmm. or a small group. So my idea was to, to sort of um, try to put these little groups or, well, anything from s smaller sort of groups of the church, you know, a toddler group or things like that, up to sort of larger charity, mm -hmm. but put them in one sort of place and sort of try to sort of paint this whole picture that actually all of this combined makes, uh, makes a huge impact. So, so could this be argued as uh, you could also help uh, to create, um, I suppose, a snapshot of mo modern local history as well as raising, yes. as well as raising the awareness of community spirit. Absolutely. I mean, the um, uh, some of the some of the places I have visited, like you mentioned, I, I visited uh, Methil last uh, last week, and I visited uh, Methil Preservation Centre in there actually. So, so yes, yes, uh, because I, I do think that this. Uh, you know, sort of preserving history or or sort of local history, as you said, uh, it is part of that because obviously lots of people will be will be interested in, and they 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 they, they are part of the community. So, so absolutely, yeah. And that as well. And when it comes to now, you've only just started your trip. Uh, you only right. just started in the last uh, few weeks. Uh, but mm -hmm. what what town has stood out uh, the most for you uh, in your personal opinion? Um. Well, I mean. <laughs> It sort of differs. I uh, I went to a uh, to a little village in because for the moment I've been sort of cycling mostly through Eastern Five and now I'm sort of coming mm -hmm. towards your way. Um, but uh, there are two ladies in a village uh, called New Gilston near Ceres, uh -huh. and um, they are actually uh, they, they're basically doing a, a village gala. But they've been they've been able to sort of uh, you know sort of pull lots of people in from uh, their village and and sort of local villages. Uh, into that, and uh, there's just two people basically, and uh, they've been able to, you know, make sort of the community spirit sort of almost sort of come back to the village in a way. Mm -hmm. was, uh, there was another example in Ceres itself, where uh, lots and lots of money was uh, was raised by three ladies who who basically were raising money in the first place uh, for a boy from a secondary school who, who, who's been sort of uh, suffering from cancer uh -huh. for his treatment and that sort of thing. And, but again, it was actually a fun day for the whole village, so it involved everyone. So, um, so yeah, so those two. But then I've been to, um, you know, in Kirkcaldy, I have been to uh, Maggie's Five, and they provide uh, emotional support for people suffering from cancer, which, which was incredibly touching, you know. So, so there's, there's lots of different things, basically. I think those those are the first three that come to mind because they were kind of uh, you sort of realize that sometimes you know you maybe you haven't thought of a need that is there really, and then you sort of see uh, so so it takes me out of my own profession and my own sort of circle of experience you know, and uh, shows me what uh, 
what other people are doing, and it sort of opens my mind as well mm-hmm. to, to what's out there. And this is partially what I'm also hoping to achieve with this, to sort of to show all sorts of ways that people support each other um, and hopefully, you know, hopefully uh-huh. people will be also encouraged to join in. Do you think celebrating the community spirit is maybe something that's not done enough in general in today's society? I do think so, because we, we, we live in a sort of, you know, we live in the time when sort of more things are accessible and so you're not necessarily just sort of, you know, inverted commas, confined to your local area. And so I think there is a danger that people are sort of, that they are so widespread that they kind of uh, uh, lose the sight of the place where they actually live. So um, I would like to sort of, uh, you know, sort of this project is meant to sort of remind that the local small things are as important as uh, sort of, you know, wider ranging ones. So, yeah, absolutely. Now, being a Polish national, mm-hmm. do you feel that um, you, you, it helps you to see a side of Fife that maybe us who are locals to Fife kind of take for granted in terms of the con- community spirit kindness? Well, funny you should mention that because um, I was just uh, speaking to my wife earlier, earlier today and I said that um, I couldn't do this in Poland mm-hmm. uh, because I'm too close in a way. So, yes, it mm-hmm. gives me a sort of... Um, well, kind of an outsider. Sort of. I mean, I've mm-hmm. been in the UK for six years. So, but you know, I mean, yeah. But it does sort of. Uh, uh, it it allows me not to take sides very much. You know, I mean, w- whichever place it is, I'm kind of looking at it in a sort of uh, sort of uh, well, definitely emotional way. But um, but also, as you say, yes, it seems to make it a little bit easier. Mm-hmm. Um, in a way, yes. And I mean, I'm I, I'm 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 always very much welcome. But mm. um, it's, uh, yes, I think, I mean, you're able to sort of um, look at various sort of groups and organizations and, and individuals uh, at, an, at an ideally sort of, you know, equal kind of level. Uh-huh. So everything is sort of, uh, yeah, so absolutely, I do agree. That's, that's, that, that makes it slightly easier to do. Now, I, I know you haven't been to, uh, to West Fife on the All in Fife uh, trip, but have you ever been to uh, West Fife uh, before? Yes. Yes, I have definitely been. I mean, I, I have uh, I have gone through, you know, sort of Dunfermline, Concordian, um, Dalgate Bay. Um, I actually, well, mm-hmm. I should mention that whilst the, the Wednesdays is when I cycle, I also kind of allowed sometimes on Tuesdays. So I have already visited um, a place in Dalgate Bay, for example, All right. um, well, earlier on. Um, and that was uh, an annual flower show, actually. And so uh, there is an article coming about that, actually. Um, very quickly, uh, and, you know, very shortly, basically. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. So I have been there before. And, uh, and of course, you, you mentioned about articles that uh, it's not just that it's, go- it's not only just going to be a book, but uh, you also have a blog uh, detailing your, your travels as in, in yes. community pride in fife.wordpress.com. Now, I had a look at that mm-hmm. uh, not too long ago, and it's just it's just interesting to see. Uh, or the, the sort of snapshots of the, of the various communities. Mm. I mean, for the, for the things we take for granted in the in the places that we live in, we don't realise how big the achievements are uh, that are even on our doorstep. Well, absolutely. I mean, some of the villages I have um, I have uh, visited and spoken to people. You know, some of them are look very sort of small, but then when you learn actually how much is actually being done in there. Uh, for the local people, you know, so how many sort of different groups a village hall might be actually running? It's it's just it's just amazing. I mean, it's you know you, you wouldn't think that a village that has 200, 300 people would be able to to sort of you know organize themselves into into such a vibrant community. So there's lots of wonderful example. One of uh, one of the villages I visited, uh, Collinsboro, just, uh, mm-hmm. just blew me away. It, it really does. I mean, I was speaking for 90 minutes about. Uh, what they actually do, and that's just one place, you know. So, wow. <laughs> so, um, so even that article that I'm sort of in the process of writing now about them, I- even that, although as, uh, I, d- uh, I want to do this as thorough as possible, so it sort of takes a little bit longer mm-hmm. time. But um, at the end of the day, uh, whatever I will write will obviously be positive because that's the whole point of of the project. But it kind of feels that you know I would always want to make it more positive. Mm-hmm. Because it's so. Just, uh, you know, I mean, there's so many things that people do for each other. And, it's just, just, and I think this is what needs to be recognized. And I think it's very uplifting, especially in this sort of, you know, we have this time of economic crisis. Yeah. And uh, I'm trying to counter that because pers- I think that, uh, you know, being, uh, being kind and, and doing things for, for one another does not really require a lot of time, a lot of money. So that's kind of what I'm trying to show here.
Exactly. And as they said in the old MasterCard advert, there's some things money cannot buy. That's and right. <laughs> yeah. now you, you mentioned uh, your, your wife uh, just uh, not too mm -hmm. long ago, and uh, she's, uh, how is she supporting you in, in this project? Well, I mean, uh, uh, she has, occasionally people will actually call in, and so mm -hmm. um, she's very good at noting things down <laughs> uh, as, I, as I speak, because, um, I mean, normally what I would do if I'm on my travels, I will, I will actually, um, you know, basically record it, just mm -hmm. so I don't so ask people, you know, as politely as I can, yes. so, you know, <laughs> can you let me record this, just so I have all the information, and then it's actually run by them before the, the, the article goes online. Mm -hmm. But she... Um, well, I think first of all, she she is allowing me to have three days out of uh, the house, basically, <laughs> to do this, <laughs> which is uh, which is quite amazing. <laughs> um, yeah, but I mean, she um, uh, we we sort of look at the articles together in terms of mm -hmm. you know sort of linguistic and sort of sort of check for typos and that sort of thing. Yeah. So she's doing actually quite uh, quite a lot of sort of proofreading and. Uh, and uh, yeah, and so, I mean, it, it's great to have her support because it, it is a lot of work. I mean, you know, it's basically two days for the for the trips and at least one day a week for the writing of this stuff. And so, you know, it, it, it does take um, some time. But uh, yes, she's uh, she's written one article, actually. Uh -huh. uh, basically, I wasn't at home and the person called and um, and she she took the she took the, uh, the phone call and just basically took all the notes down and then converted them into an article and just had a look at this and uh, she's uh, she's a phd student at uh, in english literature in <laughs> at st andrews so oh, see. she's quite good with the <laughs> yeah language. quite good with that <laughs> <laughs> so she's an expert on that kind of stuff so yes. um now uh, just before we go uh, mm -hmm. how can we find out more about well f for this frankly fascinating and fantastic project that's on the go well as you said i mean there is um uh, there is a um, the articles go on the blog uh, and the blog has the description of what what's what it's about and uh, all the articles that have that have been written are there so that's at community pride in five dot wordpress dot com uh -huh. so that's uh, one thing uh, the other thing if you just google all in five uh -huh. in inverted commas then it will just come up uh, on the first page uh, and so uh, the majority of information is there basically uh, and uh, that will also have my contact data um, and so basically, um, yes, and so all the progress is in there. Uh, the schedule, um, because these Wednesdays are sort of, I mean, as you said before, uh, later this month I will be sort of uh, going through, um, through places like... Um, uh, just in Crossgates or, or mm -hmm. sort of Dalgate Bay. So the, the places and time when I'm going to be there um, are listed uh, on the blog which is the web page, basically. Uh, so, and, uh, yeah, so, so all of the information is actually, is actually there. Um, uh, yeah, and yeah. Th so, yeah, that's, that's, that's the best place to go um, for it. That's, yeah. that's great. Fantastic. Uh, so, Camel, I wish you all the best with oh, this one. And, and I, think, uh, we'll, well, I think what we'll probably have to do is at the near end of the project, we need to get you back on the show. To, I would love to, yes, definitely. Uh, to see yeah. how you get on with that. So, uh, so uh, Camel uh, Ch Che Bayatowski, uh, thank you very much for coming on to Chat with Matt on Radio West 5. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, okay, of course, that is uh, Camille uh, Che Bayatowski, who is the uh, lead um, coordinator, or the, I'd say the project leader of All in Fife, this absolutely amazing project. Uh, and you can find out more at uh, communityprideinfife.wordpress.com. Uh, and there's links to the Facebook and Twitter and all the other details as well. We've got an email uh, from one of his uh, former colleagues and a friend of his, uh, Mike Ward. Thanks very much, Mike, for getting in touch, by the way. He got in touch via the website at Radio westfife.org.uk and he says he's a friend and former uh, colleague of Camille. Uh, he's listening online from uh, from near Nottingham and uh, he's he's said that uh, Camille works tirelessly to support special needs children in the community. He is a great character who's immersed himself in bringing about awareness and improving social needs. So it's obvious that he gets plenty of support uh, from his friends and colleagues in all the projects and the work that he does. So thanks very much Mike for getting in touch there.